Hi folks, John here from Soaring Tortoise Electronics. In this video we're going to be looking at a 100% recycled material solid state spring reverb unit. There it is. Alright, it features controls for input volume. This is how much of your guitar input hits the springs or whatever instrument you choose to plug into it. Over here on the side we have an output volume which is the amount of reverbed output coming out of the springs. Adjust that. This is a super special surf knob which works counterclockwise or backwards and it also has a super secret feature I'll show you later. Now, our test guitar for today is the Aria Telepudding Caster. On the floor we have a looper, which is placed after the reverb. Uh, we've got the cheapo lollipop ribbon mic on the 2x10 cab, a special 5E3 Deluxe head, and oh, we've got a couple of uh, little Penny Candy Dan Electro Food Series pedals here. We have a French Toast Octave Fuzz, which dare I say sounds just like a Fox Tone machine. And we also have a one knob phaser, the Pepperoni Phaser, which uh, is a four stage one knob phaser. Anyway, oh, I know I'm hawking my own reverb here, but if you are on a budget, these things actually sound killer. And they're super cheap. These were like 22 bucks a piece shipped. All right, let's get back up to this guy because we're, it's about the reverb. We'll turn those guys on later, but let's check out the reverb. So, I'm going to give you an example of my guitar with the input volume turned all the way down. So we'll just get the guitar dry signal. Although, the output volume is up somewhere past halfway, 55, 60%. And you can still hear the springs and, of course, poke them through the obverbization window, which all Soaring Tortoise reverbs have. So here is my dry tone. All right, so I'm going to start dialing in the input volume. And again, the output is set a little past halfway. And there we are, about a third. And go up to a half now. Here it is, dry again. two or three quarters of the way. All right, I'm gonna turn the input all the way up again. The output is about a little past halfway. output volume now a little bit. Let's say put it at say 70% maybe. Alright. So let's see what that surf control does now. Here it is. Totally clockwise. About halfway now. So 
back to where it was. About two thirds. show you the special feature here first. You pull up on the surf knob and you get total wet. The dry signal is removed. Alright, so I got a little uh, loop in the looper that I was just playing of that uh, riff. I'm going to turn it on and we'll, it's not very reverbed and we'll play super wet reverb over it. Oh, wrong loop. Let's just play over this one. Let's see if I can find out a little real quick. 